Another day on the road for this campaign to increase the wages for members in construction, particularly plumbers and electricians. We've been looking at top 10 employers in Scotland across the UK. Robertson's been mentioned as one of them. It's a Robertson site in 8400 with apartments filled with agency workers. We're going to have to have all employers that are choosing to use an overabundance of agency workers. What we want to see is a better pay rise for better on the books employment so that it raises all paid across this site and across all sites in Scotland. The cost of living crisis went through the roof. We are st struggling here. Our members are struggling here. Visa have offered 4% for this year and 2% next year. It's the same for the JIB. An absolute insult to construction workers all over the country. We need to get that up. We're pushing for above inflation, an RPI pay rise, which is over 14%. This company, Robertson's, right, a well-established company in Scotland, right, does very well through the Scottish Government's contracts. We should be speaking to them. I'm led to believe that United has not been seen or even heard on this job. So we in the rank and file are here. We need somebody in there, talk to people, because the response we've had here this morning Taking all the literature has been tremendous and the guys are crying out, crying out for decent jobs, decent wages, but also direct employment. They're left with no option to go to these agencies. We at the rank and file have uh, appointed Dr Brian Parkin to do a load of research for us, looking at multinational companies and to look at the food chain of those all the way down. Because if you're going to make these campaigns work and win, we need to have all the inside information possible to know who their clients are, where they're working, and know the financials behind them, the profit margins, to be able to best target these companies. The Scottish consulting industry is big. It's including its supply chain, 200,000 workers. Many of those workers have no union representation. People working self-employed with no possibility of paying national insurance, tax, are possibly falling through illegal brackets, no holiday pay, no sickness pay, no health and safety training. I produce regular bulletins on the state of the industry. I also produce details on companies, on their finances, but also in terms of their employment and their non-employment, their shadow employment, which they force hundreds of workers to work in. It's hard to believe in 2023, there's, there's that guy. 15 years he's working with Graham's. A labourer, right, he's a labourer. 11.58 I'm working. It's hard to believe. That's unbelievable. In this day and age, we're talking about the birth of living crisis. Uh, and guys, how can farmers live? support the you know, how can guys exactly. the farmers exactly. not kind of wages. It's not like wages. Come down to our next branch meeting. It's the John Smith House the last Saturday of every month. Come down. If you're not a union member, you're welcome as well. Get your point put across. But fill out these surveys as well. National Combine and Scottish Combine are pushing these surveys to find out the breadth of what people want in their agreements. So let's get the rise the rates up across the whole board for everyone. Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 